Obviously, this is not Pakistan. But what have these Pakistanis to do in here? Hong Kong is not only the economically most free country, it is also this year's meeting point for free marketeers from all over Asia. They find each other linked by the Economic Freedom Network Asia, shortly EFN Asia. Not surprisingly, Economic Freedom Network Pakistan is a member of EFN Asia, thus Pakistan's liberal economists from academia, business and politics join each year, supported by the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom, this conference. Of course it's fun to meet up, to see old friends and to talk to like-minded people. Of course it's often business, here you can create linkages, friendship and business partners alike. And of course that's not all. Economic Freedom Network actually is very important to us uh, uh, in Pakistan as well because we believe in free markets and we strongly believe that one should do business without the intervention of the state and that the markets should uh, determine the pricing factor and other associated things in free market economy. Uh, this economic freedom network Asia I have been attending for the last about seven or eight years and I find very interesting interaction with people from this Asia region who come discuss their ideas and uh, contribute towards the uh, establishing and getting back home the same idea. EFN Asia provides a platform for intellectual exchange. EFN Pakistan works hard to provide solutions to current challenges in their home country. The annual EFN Asia conference is one place where they refresh their minds, test ideas and come up with suitable solutions. Ideas and solutions will carry our Pakistan EFN members home to make Pakistan a better place to live, a more progressive country to work and earn. The Government Foundation for Freedom is very proud that uh, there's a Pakistani delegation on the conference of how welfare, populism, distorts prosperity. We think that the populist challenge to economic freedom is also a topic in Pakistan and that uh, could be a very good uh, uh, possibility for them to get back with some knowledge how to defend uh, welfare populism in your country. This year, Asian free marketeers elaborate how welfare populism destroys prosperity. They look into the challenge of populism to free market economy from a liberal perspective. It also means regardless of nationality, ethnicity, gender or religion. I'm here because I strongly uh, believe in the freedom, economic freedom, social freedom, political freedom of women and uh, liberty. And I think this platform provides an opportunity to discuss the relevant issues with the liberty and freedom which is being faced by the world today. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Still, participants from all over Asia enjoyed the lunch on with a panel on energy, environment and stability. While savoring the tastes of Hong Kong, they listened to case studies of the region. Stomach and brain got food for free, but not for nothing. Equally, they identified the today's debates of populism in economic and political perspectives and found answers to populist challenges from an economic perspective. The populism thing that I can say is the difference that the liberals can make as politicians. The distinctive difference is to believe that people would be empowered by your decision to take their own. I'm Ali attending EFN Asia meeting in Hong Kong and I'm here to learn uh, how economic freedom ideas are being practiced in other economies and other parts of the world, not only in Asia. I'm here to get more inspiration and here to get more examples and also to learn particularly on what is the theme of the conference, what are the challenges to economic freedom from populist politics. I think there's a lot of learn, a lot of examples which we can apply back home in Pakistan when we go back to the election season. And you can be curious what will be the outcome and how our Pakistanis will implement it back home. You can be sure that this was not all Chinese theatre, but about concrete solutions for pressing challenges.